Hey everyone, Dave here, and today I'm checking out the official release to Arcade. We are familiar with this project because I've put a video on it like one and a half year ago. It does seem like a lot of things are transitioning from App Lab nowadays, like if it's due to the lackluster lineup of games releasing in the future, or Meta's finally noticing those good games that deserve to be on the official one. Who knows, I like to always plant a seed of doubt in it and stir the pot a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's good for the developers. So Arcade is a bullet hellish action shooter game where in a retro style environment you progress throughout the levels, defending yourself and the flying cube against the upcoming enemies, find out who's all behind this and diminish the AI threat. Comparing to the first time we've done this on the channel, besides some new levels in the list, there has not been many changes all across the board, like it still feels the same way in terms of gameplay and this retro style funky vibe that you get from playing games in the past. It is solid, there has not been any bugs that I really noticed, pretty easy concept to understand and excel at, though my point still stands that besides the artistic value this game offers, there's not much else going on, special or unique to the genre for me. It's not something we didn't see before, nor brings anything new to the table, like it's not reinventing the wheel and sometimes it's nothing wrong with that, but I guess nowadays I pursue innovation and my standards are getting higher and higher, so while the game is cute and all and it does its job, it's not popping my cherry with bringing innovation to the platform. I actually managed to play this earlier because the version is gonna be exactly the same on the launch, not much to say on top of that let's just go and pew pew some people <laughs> So in the first video on the channel we've done this stage, so I guess to just not repeat the content, let's do the second one. I have everything unlocked because I think the developer at the time gave me the access to it and this game had couple updates since then. I mean, it is evolving and that's what I appreciate about. It's not like just being in one place and coming out of the official store. <laughs> I'm not sure why I have a vignette around my eyes, like in the options. There is nothing about it, but we'll see how that's gonna go. <laughs> I think I still remember the mechanics, like reloading was to snap downwards. The premise is that you have to protect the cube because you share the same life. With some bullet time. We'll see. It is essentially like an action-packed bullet hell. And so far, that's how I remember it. I guess I could turn up the difficulty, because I am already familiar with the game. to what I should. <laughs> Guys? Okay, that makes more sense. And done. <laughs> Did not see this. Okay. <laughs> Cube, wait for me.
hurts. <laughs> I think I said the same thing in the previous video. <laughs> like from just snapping constantly. Am I getting old? Hi. Like that uh, you have essentially a free locomotion with exploration. Normally in wave shooters you would just standing in one place. here Whoa. it's always tentacles So in the previous stage there was also a boss fight but there were also like weak points. Whoa whoa whoa. Excuse me. I think they just appear and do nothing. So the question is, am I doing something? Don't touch me! I mean, we'll see. If not, I'll just repeat the stage. Not a big deal. I thought I could run. Oh, just in one go? Yeah, why not? <laughs> There's still vignette. So we can unlock secrets, you get trophies for the different difficulties. 
Yeah, simple as that. I don't know if I'm gonna repeat myself or not, but to me it's okay. Like, it is very much this old school vibe with the arcades that you used to play. And this game does bring that feeling really well. For my today's standards and taste, it might be a little bit too simplistic. Like, the concept is very clear and it utilizes features that fit for its playstyle. Though, to me, it's not something like amazing. It's fine at best, with mechanics that we've seen before, but set in this specific time period. And that's pretty much it, like, not much special or unique things going on. 